Well, as David said, folks around the state bracing for several days of hot, humid, and flat-out uncomfortable weather. NBC 15's Rachel Ballion has more. John, among those dealing with the heat in hospitals, one is expecting 5 to 10 extra patients a day as a result of the heat. Whether biking, running, or even just sitting, there's no denying that it's hot. And it's heat spells like this that prompt staff at St. Mary's Hospital to prepare for an influx of patients. Typically we see people uh, right when they're having those warning signs, either playing tennis and pass out, uh, or just, boy, I feel like when I get up I feel dizzy and it's so hot I feel like I've lost too much fluid. He says there are typically two times when they see patients coming in with heat-related problems. One is at the beginning of the heat wave when people kind of aren't ready for it and haven't kind of adjusted their plans. We see a lot of people. And then toward the end, if it's lasting more than three, four days, when people are basically starting to get wore down and it's starting to affect them more and more. While the heat typically only boosts their patients by a handful each day, Dr. Hallberg says they try to keep the weather on staff members' minds. Our ER director here puts out a, like a summary of heat-related illnesses we've had in the past, often focusing around the treatments that were needed, basic strategies and initial things to look for. Dr. Hallberg says in times like these, they see a wide spectrum of heat-related illnesses, everything from minor heat-related dehydration all the way to heat stroke.